We look forward to each and every Friday because that signals the time to open Mark's mailbag. This week, the tattoo that isn't and why I should think before I talk about ink. But first, listen, my child, and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere. We begin this week with Elaine, who wrote in after seeing our story on the 17th anniversary of the Oklahoma City bombing. Mark, I would like to point out that April 19th is also the anniversary of the beginning of our American Revolutionary War. Paul Revere's ride was April 18th, and the war started the next morning at Lexington and Concord. I'm not suggesting we forget the OKC bombing, but let's not forget how a small group of rebels stood up against the British and started our great nation. Next, it's Heather, who wrote after seeing our Charles Manson parole hearing story and my mention of the tattoo on his forehead. It's not a tattoo. He scratched the swastika on his forehead in the 60s and simply goes over it in ballpoint pen whenever he thinks he's going to be photographed or filmed. I saw this on 60 Minutes or 2020 ages ago. And finally, Rachel is not happy with me. After a recent story about tattoos and alcohol consumption, I had lived. That's why some people get them in the first place. I was extremely offended by the comment made by Mark Allen on the link between bar patrons who have tattoos and the amount of alcohol they drink. I feel that such sidebar comments are completely inappropriate. Myself and my friends who have tattoos did not get a single one while drinking. We made the choice to display body art for personal reasons, as I know is the case for a good number of people. An apology should be made. All right, Rachel, here you go. I had this tattoo done just for you, yes. That is my actual arm, and yes, I have a really tough time finding suits that fit. <laughs> what do you think, Marsh? Yeah. It comes, in, it comes in handy when you're married, I'll tell you Lots that. Lots of exercise there, Mark. Go to WDTN.com and click on Participate in the Mailbag to check out the Mark's Mailbag page, watch previous mailbags, and contact me via Facebook, Twitter, email, phone, or mail. <laughs>